So, if you have not been living under the rock, you might have heard of ChatGPT. In simple terms, it's an open AI that will help you create response of any kind within few seconds. In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple, straightforward tutorial on how to use it. So, first thing we're going to do is click try ChatGPT and we're going to click sign up and we'll create an account. So, enter your email address, your password and log in or you can continue with your existing Google or Microsoft account. I already have an account with ChatGPT, so I'm just going to log in. Once you enter your account, this is what your interface would look like. So to give you some context on this section, you're going to see all the chats that you will create with ChatGPT moving forward, which I'm going to talk about in a bit. Over here, you can clear a certain conversation. So let's say I have this conversation over here. And if I want to get rid of it, I can click clear. You can also upgrade to a plus account. So essentially we are in their free plan right now, which is available when the demand is low. It has a standard response speed. It has regular model updates. We also have chat GPT plus, which is $20 per month, which would be available for you even when it's like heavy traffic on the website, faster response rate, um, and you get priority when it comes to accessing new features. You can also click over here to switch from a dark mode to a light mode and things like that. If you want to have information on any new updates or any questions that you may have about this platform, you can click over here and it's going to direct you to this section where you can get more information. ChatGPT has the potential to remember what was said earlier in the conversation and provide an answer in context to that. It also allows users to provide follow-up corrections and it is trained to decline any sort of inappropriate request. Some of the limitations of ChatGPT is that it may occasionally generate incorrect information from time to time and it has limited knowledge of the world and the events only after 2021. How ChatGPT works is that it takes the information available on the internet and uses that to provide a response to you. So we're going to create an example over here and let's say I want to get a recipe for a chocolate cake. So I'll write, hey, can you write a 150 word recipe for a vegan chocolate cake? I'll click enter. And as you can see, it literally took one second and ChatGPT is writing the response for us saying that sure, here's a recipe for vegan chocolate cake that serves eight people. Uh, you're going to have flour, cocoa powder, soda powder, baking powder, salt, sugar, oil, vinegar, cold water. And it's also providing us instructions on how to go about it. So how easy it makes our work instead of us actually going in and typing in all this information in a separate document so this is really amazing and let's say for some reason if you're not happy with this response and you need a different variation of this you can always click regenerate response <laughs> And over here, it's going to create a second variation of it, providing us information uh, for creating a vegan chocolate cake. If this information is more than enough and I want to stop chat GPT from creating the response, I can click the button over here, which previously said stop response. Now, the next thing you can do is either click thumbs up if you want. If you feel like this response is relevant to what you're looking for you can click it over here and provide any sort of feedback which is just going to help open ai uh, get more context on how it's performing and create better responses for some reason you feel this information is not at all relevant to what you ask you can click the thumbs down button and provide any sort of feedback which is going to help improve the open ai system the good thing about chat GPT is that it in one chat you're going to get response relevant to what you ask now let's say this is good but i want a recipe like this assuming that i want this cake ready in 10 minutes so i wrote my response over here and i'm going to click enter so now what chat gpt is going to do is provide us the recipe which where we create this cake in like 10 minutes so it's really smart really powerful in that way now this recipe involves using vegetable oil and i don't want that i want to use only butter in my cake so i can write can you replace 
vegetable oil with butter so as you can see ChatGPT is saying yeah for sure you can replace the vegetable oil with vegan butter in a vegan chocolate muff cake and here's how you can do it and it's providing me the recipes the ingredients and all of that fun stuff now let's say i want to create a new chat and i want to write a newsletter for one of the products i'm launching for my business so i typed out that write a newsletter for a new product that i'm launching in my company called glowy skin which provides 24 hours hydration i'm gonna click next and ChatGPT is writing a response for us dear valued customers we are excited to announce the launch of our newest product glowy skin it provides 24-hour hydration leaving our skin looking and feeling at its best all day long and a lot more information which is amazingly helpful and super quick to generate now this is good but i want the tone of voice of this message to be a bit more friendlier so i'm gonna say can you write the above text in a personal friendlier way and as you can see ChatGPT is providing us the same text in a friendly way so using words like you i we and just provides that tone of voice so let's say now you are in a working environment and you don't like writing cover letters for example i hate writing cover letters so let's ask ChatGPT to help us with that. So I wrote that, hey, can you write a cover letter for social media marketing position at ABC company highlighting my specialization in TikTok marketing? And over here, you're seeing that ChatGPT is writing the response. It says, dear hiring manager, I'm excited to submit my application for this position at ABC company. With my experience, I'm confident that I'm going to bring significant contributions to the team and a lot more stuff, which is really, really helpful. And literally, I can take all of this and I can use it in my application and I can expedite my overall work and the process. It is definitely a game changer and it is going to save a lot of time to everybody out there. Something that I noticed with the responses that you get from ChatGPT is that they are quite generic because of course this response comes from the information that is already existing on the internet. In my opinion, OpenAI is very helpful but the best way to make it efficient is to use it with human intelligence. What I mean by that is we have this text that we got ready in literally like three seconds. So why don't we just take this text, copy it, paste it in a separate Google document and add a bit of human touch to it so it becomes customized based on what you need. I think that's one of the most beautiful way to work with OpenAI. So that way you get responses that are customized, that has that human touch. It is personal as well, but also you are using OpenAI and creating this base text to get your head started, to get the thoughts started. So that's my take on OpenAI. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe because it helps our channel grow and I shall see you guys in my next one. Till then take care. Bye.